Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So this is episode 2 of my Minecraft how to make a Minecraft character rig series, a tutorial series. So um, in today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make the rig. So it won't be really, I don't think I'm going to be teaching how to make things. Maybe I'll teach you in the next episode. So the first thing you want to do is move this. Um, I move the hands, legs, and head a bit aside, like we did in the last episode. Okay. Um. So now, what you wanna do? Of course, you want snapping to be on. So let's go to edit mode. And the thing you wanna do is count four boxes here. Okay. After counting four boxes here, go to um. Go to, uh, what do you see, vertex mode. So now, okay, it's not called vertex mode, sorry, whatever, I forgot. Uh, but you go the, uh, to this mode, and then, vertices mode, yeah. Then select the, um, so, in four by, in the four by four gap, you have to select the one in the middle, okay, in all of these. So if you're using the skin, of the, the Steve skin, it's going to be way easier. So now you want to do is Shift S, selection to cursor. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, cursor to selected. Now tab out of edit mode. Now what you want to do? Shift. Um, now you want to go and go to object, set origin, and origin to 3D cursor. Okay, now you want to do the same for the arms. Okay, this arm. Okay, so now you just make a cursor to select it. Then tap out of edit mode, object, set origin, original origin to 3D cursor. Okay. Now for the torso, I don't really think it really matters that much, but you'll do it, you know, it's worth it, it's worth doing it. So, um, you just put it here, shift S, um, so cursor to selected, and then object, set origin, and origin to 3D cursor. Okay, now here, this one's a bit different, so you want to set the origin over here so that it can move like an actual leg okay so set mm, selection to oh sorry that's hard okay. shift s cursor is selected now object set origin origin to 3 cursor let's do the same thing for this one okay there you go. Now the last one you want to do is for the head. Again, you want to go on the middle middle point. Shift S, cursor to select it. Go back to object mode. And then you want to, of course, go to object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Now move all of these things back to place. Okay. Okay, now as you can see, when I rotate my character's legs or arms, you know, it it actually looks like Minecraft character. Of course, you this one's not rotating perfect, and also this one's not rotating perfectly. So, yeah, but it's not really that important for the torso. But we did it, you know. And here's the arms. That's also perfect. Here's another arm. Here's the head. So you can leave your Minecraft character rig if, uh, like this if you uh, uh, want, you know, it's just, just a simple character rig or something. But now if you want to make it like an actual rig, this is just a model, okay? If you want to make it an actual rig, what you want to do is press Shift A and you want to add a bone, okay? So, armature, okay? Now, go to this view, the, you know, this view, whatever, 
it's called. Okay, let's go here in the front view. Of course, I'm going to enable um, the magne uh, magnet. Now let's go to edit mode. Okay. Edit mode. Okay, now you can do one more thing. You could stay in material view. And you could, I think it was the x-ray. Okay. Where was it? Yep, here it is. So, oh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, sorry, it's not this way. Sorry. It's over here. Then, in the viewport display. And, no, it's not that. Okay, I think it was in bone. No, I can't find it. Maybe it was an object. What was it? It was an X-ray, right? Visibilities, report display. I can't find X-ray for some reason, so I guess we'll have to use this right now. I actually did not use Blender for a while, so I did kind of forget, but okay. Now, let's go to edit mode. Okay, um, so, okay, so what you want to do is go to edit mode, select the whole bone, the day, and move it over here, okay? So this is your main torso bone. Now, you want to extrude this bone as well, E, and extrude it till here, you know, where the head starts, like till here. Okay. So, now what you do is extrude again, this time, in the, till the, like, end of the head or start of the head, you could say. Now you want to take both of these bones, uh, no, you want to take one bone, shift D, duplicate, and then get it here. Now what you want to do is rotate it on the Y axis, sorry, rotate it. On the x-axis 180 degrees okay now extrude this bone here and then go ahead and duplicate this r x 180 and wait I forgot to tell you guys you had to put this a little down okay just one pixel down so that it's actually like the arms now for the legs it's easy all you have to do is duplicate this bone shift D okay and R to rotate it 180 in the x-axis now we want to move this one one back so that it's like the leg is you know, it's like the leg is symmetrical no the both of these sides are the same size i guess okay now let's just go and put it like we let's go here put it a bit more up like so same over here a bit more up okay now here I want to shift D this, just duplicate it, and we're done. So now, if I could remember, okay, that actually does kind of work, even though sadly it does not work. Let's see. Let's have a edit mode. It works in object mode, so let's just see. Let's go out of edit mode. Okay, let's see in, if I can find this thing now. So, I don't know why can't I find the x-ray thing. Wait, where was the x-ray thing? It was an object, right? Uh, okay. Okay, never mind. If I go to pose mode, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to pose mode. Now I think I find x ray, right? Or I can just do that. Yup, that's what I did. Okay. Now, what you want to do is okay, so you want to get out of the um, you know, pose mode. Go grab this bone. I'll go grab the head. Then shift select the bone. You can just grab it somehow or go to this view and grab it. Okay? Now, press control tab or just tab and drag to pose mode. And then click on this bone. Control P. And then um, with and uh, with empty groups, okay. Or you could have done key pattern, but I just did with empty groups. Okay, now, oh sorry. Okay, now I go to weight paint mode. So here it is. Now all I do is make my brush bigger, and then just make this whole sleeve red. Okay. I can go in this view so that he actually becomes red and maybe turn this okay son. Okay, let's see if okay it's not mm, the feature where it could do it through. I don't know why. I'm not actually that used to Blender 2.9 um, or 2.8 because my this is Actually, my, uh, I got a better PC for a while, not that long, but yep, so I can use it for a while. So I'm more used to Blender 2.79. So now, what you can do, go back to object mode. Okay, now let's go select the bone again, control tab, and of course, material view. Now, as you can see, then I rotate. Wait a minute. Did I pan this wrong? Okay, I'm just lagging a lot. Let's just do shift. Oh no, that's not it. Not that useful. Okay. So I want to now select the head. Okay. Then I'll select the bones, control tab. Okay, there it is a bone. Okay, this is actually lagging a lot. So let's just go in object view because it's lagging way less. Select this one, control P. Let's just do um, two bone objects. Okay, let's just do it. Wait, I forgot. I think it was the object thing. No, sorry. Control P, bone. Yeah, bone is bone. Now, as you can see, when I move this, the head moves. I'm actually lagging a lot, so I think I'll have to wait for a while because then I'll go home and get my dad's Mac. I'm currently on vacation. Okay, so I guess I'll teach you how to parent these things in the next episode, which will be a while later when I reach home, like 10 15 days. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.